failed former President Donald Trump sharing a violent video depicting President Joe Biden as hogtied, as the kids these days call it, tied up and gagged, bound and gagged, I guess is what we would say. Uh, a number of reports about this. And there is one most important takeaway from this, which I will get to in a moment. The Associated Press reports Trump posts video with an image of a hogtied Biden drawing a rebuke from Democrats campaign. That is absolutely true. Here is the image that uh, was uh, uh, published by Trump, republished by Trump. And as you can see, it is of the um, uh, the the bed. I <laughs> God, I'm forgetting the name. The uh, the bed door of a truck. What is the name of this thing? I don't drive trucks, folks. I'm sorry. Um, the, the tailgate, the tailgate of a truck showing Biden laying down uh, tied up and seemingly gagged. And the most important takeaways here are the following. OK, this, this is this is real talk. If you don't like this, this may not be the show for you. Number one, when Trump made the bloodbath comments vaguely in the context of the auto industry. And many of us said he's talking about the auto industry. That's true. Nominally, he's talking about the auto, the auto industry. But this guy knows his audience and his audience commits violence and the, the pipe bomber and January 6th and the whole thing. We have to understand it in that context. We have to understand it in that context. This is what we're talking about. This is the MAGA violence that he's promoting when he posts this. Oh, and it's a joke and it's someone else's or whatever. This is why the bloodbath comment wasn't taken lightly by us, because he's been indirectly and sometimes not so indirectly promoting violence dating all the way back to 2015. A lot of his politics are based on the threat of violence, sometimes subtle, sometimes not. And when he says, if I don't win in 24, we're not going to have a country anymore. That is part of the environment of potential violence. And then lastly, you know, when Trump talks about how great dictators are, he thinks Orban is fascinating what he does and she and Erdogan and he talks Putin. They're tough. Kim Jong Un. They're tough. Trump admires that they are allowed to get away with doing the sort of stuff that's depicted uh, uh, on, on the tailgate of that truck and the sort of stuff that his followers post. He's jealous that the full blown dictators can get away with it. And he can't because at least nominally we still have a democracy here. Scary stuff to keep in mind as we get closer to voting day. We've already seen so many data breaches in the news just this year. Roku, GitHub, Fujitsu, Nissan, many others. Cyber criminals have more tools at their fingertips than ever before. And one of the easiest, cheapest ways you can secure yourself and your family is using a VPN, an app that hides your IP address. If these companies get hacked, but you use a VPN, then your IP address will just be one less thing that the criminals know about you, which makes it harder for them to hack or to steal your identity. Our sponsor, Private Internet Access, is the only VPN I use. They don't log any of your online activity which you can verify a number of ways, including the fact that the software is open source, super fast for streaming. You can use private Internet access on all of your devices with just a single account. Don't let the big corporations, the hackers, governments see your IP address and everything you do online. Get private Internet access for 83 percent off, which comes out to just 203 a month plus four extra months for free. Go to PIAVPN.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.